I've got all of this stuff to put away. I did a women's expo at the Coliseum the other day, and when I came in, I was just so tired. I just dumped everything right here on the sofa, on the floor, stuff is just scattered about, and it needs sorting out. Plus, it's time for me to take care of this particular room since it is zone five, which is the family room and living room. So, let's get that started. Now one of the things that I'll need to do before I can put all of this stuff away is go through these items and see how many pieces I have left because I need to be able to track how many pieces I sold at the fair so that I can, or shall I say how many pieces I sold at the expo so that I know what my inventory is and then I can get things put back where they belong. And then these are some of my specialty cookie recipe aprons that need to get put away. And I always keep them, when I take them out, I always keep them in this bag because they're so nice, I don't want to get them messed up or stained or anything like that. I'll count these first and then I'll get these put away and then I'll get started on some of this other stuff. Three of the apple pie recipes and then three of the chocolate cookie ones. So for the cookie, which is the one with the chocolate no-bake cookie recipe on there, we have three left. And then for the carry, which is the one with the caramel apple pie recipe on it, we have three left as well. So we did well with those, only having three of those left. And these little half aprons did really well. I think we only have three of these half aprons left. Now these items here are the ones that I use for display. These are my test aprons, so either I will use these to cook in, to photograph in, just to kind of model for the website. And then when I'm at the fair or the expo, I'll have them on hangers so that people can actually see what it is that they want to buy. So whereas I'll have, for example, I'll have the product itself in a bag like this on the table. I'll have one like that that's hanging on a rack that they can actually touch and try on, that kind of thing, so that the one they actually purchase is new. So all of these were used for display. So I'll have to give all of these a good wash. So I will take these and put them in the wash. These are the mannequins we use for photographing and at fairs. And this is the bags and tissue paper that we use at events. I just use white bags and white tissue paper when we go to this kind of events. So I'll set this aside and my husband can just take it upstairs. These are dish towels, bags, gift set. So I will look through these once I'm done with the apron. I'll just set that on the floor.
Now that I've got all those aprons taken care of, ironed and put away, I'm going to start cleaning up that living room. And you can't really do a good job of cleaning if you don't have the proper tools. And one of the tools that I need and that I enjoy using is a stick vacuum. And I received a new one that I've been excited to try out. So I thought I would unbox it and give it a try today. One of the reasons why I tend to like stick vacuums is because they tend to be lightweight. My old canister style vacuum cleaner was so heavy and now that I'm not quite as strong as I used to be, it's just kind of nice to have something that's a little bit lighter weight. And just look, I'm lifting this without any problem. Aspiron stick vacuum cleaner. So it comes all boxed up just like this and you can see all the goodies are nicely packed inside. So here's the canister and the motor and all that kind of thing right here. I'm loving this orange color. Looks like you've got the on and off button right there. Here's the stick. And then there are several pieces. Here is an edge trimmer. This looks like it's for carpet because it's a beater bar with a little brush right there. A little small brush. Electric cord. Oh, they've even got some little sprockets and screws so that this piece can be attached to the wall. So it looks like it's got everything in here that I would need to knock my family room in, or shall I say my living room into shape. So this is truly an unboxing and a first look at this device. So again, here is your canister with the motor and all that kind of thing. There's a little lock here to help you let the dust out and it just snaps back in like that. And then right here is the little area where you can just kind of plug it into the power source and charge and then back here it lights up so you can kind of see how much power is there so this is your battery indicator right there and it looks pretty straightforward so there's a little power source or little prongs there and then you can see there's prongs there and then there's an orifice there to accept it so just pop it in like that, just like many other stick vacuums. And the same thing is here too. You've got your little prongs there and little orifice there to accept it. Snaps into place. And now you've got this little button here that you would press to remove it. And to put it together. And then this is the three-in-one brush, and then this is the long edge cleaner. And to use those, you remove the long tube, and then you would just apply it here like so. There are no little prongs to attach. So I really encourage all of my young homemakers to invest in a stick vacuum. And this one is completely affordable. I'll put a link in the description box for you to check it out. Now one safety feature that I discovered while I was exploring the various buttons and that kind of thing is that you cannot operate the vacuum while it is plugged into the power source. It'll operate now. But once I plug it in, it does not. So I like that. That's a nice little safety feature there. So I'm going to plug it in for about half an hour just so that it can have a little bit more power because the battery indicated that it was just, you know, just one bar. And I'll do some other things in the living room while I'm waiting for this to plug up and then we will put it to work. The proof is in the pudding, so we'll see how well it actually works. So
Well, it looks like it works pretty good with the three-in-one brush on the end. And I really like using those three-in-one brushes when I have to get around the, uh, the uh, edge of the ceiling. We have a problem with spiders from time to time, and there's always a little spider web in and there. And that's our daily 50,000 robocalls, so I'm just ignoring it. I will also say that it did not show in the owner's manual to attach the three-in-one brush or the edge trimmer brush to this particular power stick so it went in there just fine and i got good suction but it did not show that in the instruction manual now that i've got the crown molding done i'm going to go ahead and dust the lamps and the tabletops i didn't want to use that three-in-one brush on something this fragile it may work but i just didn't want to try it. i prefer using my feather duster in case you're wondering this is the self-portrait that my husband did when we were in college i really like having it here this is something that used to sit on my grandmother's table in her dining room. She used to collect horses. And it went to my mom when my grandma died. And my mom died, I ended up with this. But my cousin, who was very close to my grandmother as well, has several of those horses that grandma used to collect. And one of these little horses broke, so I got my husband to glue it together. So now it's good as new, and I'm gonna give it to her. She'll appreciate that, so. I'm gonna set this aside for my cousin. So I typically work from top to bottom. So I start with the crown moldings and work my way down so that if there's any dust that drops, it drops on the surfaces before I get to them. So once I, the crown moldings are done, and I've got the tabletops and things like that in here, cleaned and dusted. I'm going to put some polish on them, but I'm going to wait until I vacuum to do that, just in case the vacuuming kicks up any dust. I don't want that to settle on my newly polished furniture. As you can see, I love family pictures. And we've got lots of art in our room, too. Both my husband and one of my sons are artists, and then the others are artistic in their own way.
So I have put this Aspiron stick vacuum through its paces, and by that I mean I used it in all the ways that I would normally use a stick vacuum cleaner. I found it to be very lightweight, very easy to use. The one thing that I will say is that whereas I was able to use the attachments here and here without any problem, I did also attach them to the wand and it does not show that feature in the book but it worked out just fine. The other thing that I learned about this as I used it was that when you turn it on it will stay on for about oh maybe a minute I'm thinking something like that and then it'll turn itself off. But the nice thing about that is you don't have to keep the trigger depressed to keep it going. So it will turn on and then it will turn itself off unless you depress the trigger again. One other really nice feature that I thought, well, was just really kind of cool, was that there are lights that are on the end of the motorized roller brush. I did not expect that and I didn't notice that when I read the information, but when I turned it on and the lights came on, I thought, oh, how cool. So it helps you to see if there's any little bits and bottles that are on the floor that you want to make sure that you pick up. So that was pretty nice. Like other stick vacuums, it snaps in without any problem. And as you can see, I'm doing it quite easily. It's very lightweight so that I'm not having any trouble lifting it, that kind of thing. The only thing that I did notice is that this motorized brush is a brush. And it's typically the kind of brush that I would use on a carpet. But I did use it on my tile floor in the kitchen and in the hallway and it seemed to work just fine. So I can use it on my hardwood floors or tile floors. I don't have any hardwood floors, but I can use it on my tile floors. So you can use it on your hardwood if you needed to do that. And then the biggest test was my husband's chair, and I was able to vacuum out the crumbs and different things like that that accumulates there when he sits there drinking his beer and eating peanuts or chips or whatever, and it works just fine in that regard. So I'm really pleased overall with this Esperon stick vacuum, and I am so glad they reached out to me to give it a try. I will put a link in the description box so that you can check that out if you like. One other thing that I do want to say is that I do find that it is completely affordable. So when you compare some stick vacuums with others, they cost a lot more than this one. So I think you can get a pretty good bang for your buck with this Esperon stick vacuum. For more homemaking inspiration, click here. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying, you are not done yet. Click on the link in the comment section below for more homemaking stories, and I will see you next time.